Yo guys, welcome back to another video with Educational G here, and yeah, this is gonna be a completely different video. As you can probably tell from the title, I'm doing my first ever 100 days, but I didn't want to go in a series because I kind of figured that I wouldn't be able to do like the normal 100 days like archetype, like the full on like one hour movie. Like maybe by the end of it, I'll um I'll put them all together to make like a movie ish, like a typical 100 days movie ish type thing. But, um, I really, I really didn't want to have to record 33 hours of footage straight and have to edit that down into about an hour. So, yeah. But if you know a new, if you don't know what New One Town is, um, it's basically, it's, it's a data pack that allows you to basically start your own kingdom. It has its own little, like, storyline and did the data pack even, even, even load in the, into the, um, Technical difficulty. All right, so guess what? My dumb <laughs> forgot to put the pack inside the folder. Stupid. Um. <laughs> so I just made a new world and did all of that anyway. But like I was saying, uh, like the new in town data pack, um, it has its own storyline. You can make it. You basically can make your own kingdom. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to actually get to play this because I've tried it in the past, but it didn't really work because i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know how to how to how to be me yeah also i think the last few times it was like forced content and like i was just like uh 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 i'm gonna find something to do really quick um what am i gonna do and i i just went with that whereas now it's, it came up in my mind more organically and i was like you know what a 100 days along with it would be cool. this is this is a whoa but 100 days with it would be kind of cool because at least I haven't seen any like um, new in town like 100 days. So I thought, why not? Why why not me try and uh, see how that how that goes? So yep, that's what I'm doing. Oh wow, and that's what I'm doing now. So first, I I do have to find a good area to um put the uh, town charter because um. What'll happen if I don't do it in a big enough area? Um, then what'll happen is like, oh, I'll make new structures because you you slowly build new structures over time. When you make new structures, they don't really conform to the area per se. Like they kind of they'll they'll end up floating. At least un unless the creator fixed that, which I'm, I'm not fully sure if it, if it was like fixed or anything like that so i want to find a more decent area so i'm probably going to make me a crafting table from the start because it does come with one but i'm probably not going to use it yet i'm probably going to do like the basic vanilla stuff for a bit before well, before i even probably start the new in town just purely because of the fact you i, I need i got i gotta find like the perfect area for me to even really officially still start properly start the way i want to i should say i don't i don't want my buildings and stuff floating when they shouldn't be so i'm gonna go ahead get me some of this stone um and then probably just travel around the world i haven't really played 1.19 like that um and the parts that I have played were strictly underground um, because I got greedy in one of my own personal worlds and I ended up just being underground the entire time and looking for diamonds and stuff. So yeah, I I'm not going to do that in the series, obviously. It's boring. But yeah, uh, that area over there looks decently flat. I wonder how, like, how flatter it is. Cause it'll it'll move land and stuff out of the way. That's also a thing. So like, let's say you make a building like into this hill, it'll like carve it out and add the building there. So that's also a thing I have to take into account when like doing this stuff. Is if I'm okay with it, kind of flattening the land around me. Ooh, ooh, flatter area. Hold on, cause I I know I'm not gonna find a completely flat area, but I just want something where I could make stuff and it won't distort the land too bad. So like I wouldn't want it to go into that hill because it would literally like distort it like completely. Oh, not oh a big cave. This one goes in. This one goes deep. That's quite big. Impressive. Pretty deep. I think I see. Is that deep slate? Yeah, it goes down. Oh wait. Oh no, that's just drip stone. Oh no, there is deep slate right there. Yeah, it goes pretty deep. Oh, that could have been. 
<laughs> that could have been bad. But yeah, I know what? I'm gonna start right over here. What I'll probably do to make like these days go by faster is probably only really add anywhere where I'm adding like beneficial commentary. God dang it, this is a forever. But where I'm adding beneficiary like commentary or if something like special happens just to make the days go by because each day is 20 minutes and I'm not making like an hour movie. And I'm not making an hour for like three days, you know? So, I'm gonna try and, you know, do this in a way where, like, these days go by pretty fast. So, probably gonna cut a lot of me killing animals, too. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it in this area straight up and then whatever whatever it gets covered up it, it, it'll i'm gonna just have to deal with it myself because i'm pro i'm probably never gonna find the perfect area so we're gonna go ahead and start my settlement right now <laughs> boom okay so i'm facing this way i'm facing towards the river so i'm probably gonna build a lot of the kingdom behind me Ooh, not going up there because those have shulkers in them which sounds good but i i am not equipped to remotely going there yet but um to us also building permits allow you to um build these so these have like their own like little sections so you'll put stuff around the around the circle around like the edges and then put the build permit in the center and it'll build that area of the the thing now i now have two crafting tables because i i do boom uh i'm gonna use you to pick up some of that food I'm, gonna, I'm actually, I'm gonna need one. Right. Oh, let's go. Black stuff. Wood in there now. Now, eventually, I'll be able to, like, because, like, you can make areas like farms and uh, mines and stuff like that. So, I'll eventually get to, like, things like that later on. But for now, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to mine and make, do my own. I see the first thing I might build is a farm if I can. Probably gonna head down. Oop, nope. Down here. Go ahead. Oh, that was bad. That, that was that was risky. That's very. I haven't even set my spawn yet, so this is very, very scary. My plan is to climb up that water over there. I do see some iron on here, so while I'm. Yeah, that, that could have been. Already a decent start. I already got me some. Iron. I really want to make an iron farm eventually, but that's gonna have to wait. I think there was a village nearby when I first loaded in. I, I, I could be thinking about the wrong world. I'm just gonna place it dead in the center. You know what? Even though you, your, your name might be Town Planner, but you know I, I want to give you my own name. Uh, I, I'm gonna think of one. I'm gonna think of one myself. I'm gonna think of one. Ah. Might have stuck that in there. Ah. Yeah. If if y'all have your own name for the town planner, let me know. But if 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 I don't get any you know recommendations, then I'm probably just gonna name it myself. Uh, and I, I why, why am I so stupid? <laughs> so yeah, right now I'm I desperately need a chicken. I I desperately I'm heading east right now. Okay, but I desperate. Huh? I, I should really be more careful, but I desperately need a chicken because for the uh, town builder we need um we need a feather, so I I really need uh the chickens right now, which I you know I have been traveling for like five minutes and I haven't found a chicken. Whoa, what what are the chickens at, man? I don't mind seeing me some cows and stuff, but where the chickens at? <gasps> you better drop a feather. You better drop a feather, I swear. You better drop one. You better drop one. You better drop one. Let's head back because I think it's, it's midday now. 
Okay, it didn't take as long as I, as I, honestly, I thought it would take longer, to be honest. I thought, like, the world was gonna be like, ha, we're gonna spawn a chicken all the way, like, 2,000 blocks away. Boom. I'm glad this is kind of, like, like, this, like, structure itself kind of gives me a sense of direction. Because, um, this is, like, straight up in the east. Like, it's aligned with, basically, it's almost aligned with the sun completely. So I could use it as a base for whenever I like leave, probably leave in that direction or whatever. So I can know, oh, I'm going east, so I gotta go west, which is the like you know the opposite. Soon enough, you'll be able to see my kingdoms from mountains away. Hopefully. All right, so we got the feather. Boom, boom. <laughs> Give me this. So now this now allows you to start like planning out like your stuff so like, like you know you can make a bunch of different stuff like the mine and all like this stuff like that use this book as a guidance for building new sites in your settlement place uh place the requisite items in the site planner at the edge of your settlers wagon and i'll and i'll build the uh, appropriate town feature so yeah like mines and all of that yeah uh hire a miner who would now, they, uh, I, I'm a little bit um baffled because um, they are showing recipes, um, <laughs> so I'm I'm a little bit worried because like I know they used to it used to tell you like oh you need this 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 and this you sell me a faulty book because <laughs> it says cite recipes. But the recipes ain't here! So I just figured out what they do. Well, he changed up how you see the recipes. You hover over the name. Okay. <laughs> that, I, I almost got scared that I wasn't gonna be able to do what I need. But I, uh, but, uh, I gotta, let me look for the chicken coop. I, I don't remember how much that was. Chicken coop, right there. So. We need wood, uh, four eggs, um, I don't know how I'm gonna get those. A hopper. Okay, so we need, uh, okay, 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 okay. So we're not, we're not ready for that yet. We're not, we're not, we're not ready for that yet. Not yet. Um, but a homestead, a cozy home. So we need a cake. That's even worse. <laughs> 16, oh my god. I'm gonna have to find my own chickens and um make my own cake. I actually even remember how to make a cake. I don't know how to make that. Oh my god. Can't make a home yet. So farm plot. Okay, so what farm. Can I at least make a farm plot? No, I need 12 carrots. Oh my god. I'm a, I'm gonna actually have to find a village if I'm gonna make a farm plot. I'm gonna have to finesse some stuff from a village. Cause I ain't got no carrots. Huh. Yeah, so we're gonna have to start off with the mine anyway, so um, I'm probably just gonna like speed up a, a lot of my building, well not, not even building, just a lot of the, my mining, because I need two stacks, right? I need, I need, hold on, I need two stacks. Yeah, I know, I need a stack of stone, and then the wood and iron stuff I, I'm fine with. I, 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 I can get that, that's fine, I have no problems with that. <sighs> so guys, I'm gonna end it here. Um, I hope you guys like, subscribe, all of those stuff. Don't forget to press that notification bell for whenever I upload again. And uh, yeah, my first 100 day series, baby! Woo!